Good morning. Day three. Wow, wow, wow. What's a crazy, crazy, crazy day. I mean, you know, it was getting crazy enough with all the Hossein Vafai and Ronnie O'Sullivan stuff going on. And then for the um, for the protesters to jump on a table in the evening session was just absolutely unprecedented. You know, the CEO of my company loves to use that word quite a lot, but it's true. That was really unprecedented. You know, no one could have seen that coming. It was just mental. Um, anyways, I made another video about that last night, so please have a look at that. This episode is just going to be talking about the snooker, so, you know, probably that's what's best to do. Maybe not to give them too much attention, it's just talk about the snooker, even though I have made an episode about it, so think of that what you will. <laughs> anyways, so, um... The morning session we had Ding against Hossein. I mean, Hossein just, he turned up, didn't he? He just absolutely destroyed Ding in the morning session yesterday, didn't he? I mean, just playing some brilliant stuff. He, he went for some crazy, crazy pots, but he got them. And uh, he was devastating, really, really was. And, you know, obviously... Uh, now it's been a battle of words with himself and Ronnie, and it's uh, really going to be interesting to see how that one pans out. I mean, you know, I'll do a little preview episode of that one because I think it definitely deserves its own one, given all the hype that's going on around it. So, yeah, can't absolutely cannot wait for that one. Can't wait. Uh, right, and then other morning session, what do we have? What do we have? Um, alright, hopefully I'll remember that in a second. In the afternoon, we had Mark Williams against Robertson, Jimmy Robertson, and, uh, yeah, fantastic from Mark Williams. I, I, I thought after yesterday that Jimmy had had the better of him a little bit and was looking to play alright, really, but from what I saw yesterday, Mark Williams was a real focused zone. He He really wanted to just go out there and and do it, you know, he he had such a sense of purpose around him when I think he was going to the table, I think he, he really, he really put his foot down in that one, and then yeah, ran out a pretty comfortable winner, so, you know, well done to uh, Mark Williams, he, he smashed it, well done to him. Um, oh god, I've really got to remember what the other morning session was, don't I, this isn't looking good. Uh, God, what do we have? I should have wrote this down, shouldn't I? Let's have a quick look. Feel free to, uh, feel free to skip the video. We had... Da -da -da. Oh, of course, it was the first session of uh, Mark Allen against Fang Jin Yu, yeah. So, yeah, I mean, um, barring all this stuff that happened all around that match, I think uh, I think Mark Allen played well. He, he played well, you know, there was there were some times in it where he sort of went back into his slow mode, but, you know, in the beginning and in the end bit, he definitely had... Good burst of scoring, so I think, yeah, absolutely fair play to him. I backed Fan Zheng Yi to win this one. But, yeah, Alan turned up. He, he played pretty well, I thought. And, uh, yeah, it's another one of the Chinese boys that's just not getting through. I mean, this, I think it's just Xi Jinping now against Sean Murphy. And, you know, what? That would, that would be an incredible result if he could beat Sean Murphy. So... Looking like a very disappointing day for the uh, Chinese contingent, so... Uh, day? Tournament. Looking like a very uh, disappointing tournament. So, yeah, well done, Mark Allen. Played well. And then the other evening session was, of course, Robert Milkins against Joe Perry. That one, uh, we all know what happened there. So, yeah. There's one more that I've missed, that, uh, what was the other morning session? Uh, what 
close that. Hold on a sec. Yeah, you you like to think I uh, you like to think I write this all down before I do it. This is pretty uh, Dave Hendon style. Oh yeah, that was it. John Higgins against David. Grace. See how new. Probably the most boring match of the entire round. John Higgins against David Grace. No wonder I can remember it. Um, yeah, I mean, I, <laughs> I don't mean that really. You know, uh, it's an um, interesting match. I mean, it could have been if David Grace had done something. But 7-2 to John Higgins. It looks like he's just kind of outplaying him in that one. Um, and yeah, I kind of didn't ever see that going any other way. I know that Higgins is going down a bit, but... Over a best of 19, he's still going to do the business against you if you're a middle ranker, I think. So, yeah, day three, I mean, brilliant. Probably more for his off-table antics than his on-table antics. But, um, I mean, it's only day three and the Crucible is getting this much coverage. This is just brilliant, isn't it? So... Really looking forward to seeing how the rest of it unfolds. And now I probably need to go to work, so I think I'll cut it there. Tune in tomorrow morning. Thanks.